Hey guys, I just wanted to share this with you guys. I recorded this after the video I made that you guys seen previously. I looked up some facts about this beautiful moth that scared the heck out of me. <laughs> um, I believe this is a male moth because I went on Google and I did some research. It did say that the bodies of the males are more slender and smaller than the females. Also, it also says the males have leaf-shaped antennas on their head which helps them to search for search and detect for the, their mate and this one actually does have the antennas that look like a leaf I also found out that this um, Cecropia moth I hope I pronounced that correctly are native to North America It says here that it can be found in regions that lie to the east of the Rocky Mountains in the U.S. So it says here that the antennas of the males are so sensitive that they can detect the odor of the females from miles away. So that is pretty incredible. Okay guys, so it also says that the adults do not post any mouth parts or digestive organism in their body which means they don't eat, they live for about 2-3 to three weeks and they don't eat in their um, mouth stage, only while they are caterpillars. And caterpillars are known to feed on leaves throughout the summer. Their typical diet includes leaves of trees such as maple, wild cherry, plum, apple, and willow. These Cecropia caterpillars do not pose any threats to the plants. However, they are um, found in very less amount and that is for the reason that Animals such as squirrels feed on these caterpillars. So um, let's see here. So their population is actually um, very small due to that. And that is all the information I was able to find on these moths. They're actually quite beautiful. Um, once I saw how the wings look once they open, I was very impressed. I couldn't believe that this beauty actually scared me that one day. And I just wanted to share the information that I found for you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, hit the subscribe button, leave any comments if you have any more information on these um, beautiful moths. Okay, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.